The Legend of Muscle Cars, Chevrolet Camaro, A True Friend. Good day, dear subscribers and visitors of my channel. Chevrolet Camaro, even those who hear this name for the first time, looking at the image of this legendary car, will surely remember that they have already seen these two longitudinal stripes on the body in some American film. This car has long been a classic of the American automotive industry. Chevrolet Camaro RS 1967 Chevrolet Camaro first generation entered the market in 1967, the car had sports uniforms, long hood and short trunk, the interior was pushed back. Comes in two types of the body coupe and convertible, both of which was a four-seater, front separate seats, rear solid sofa. In contrast to the basic configuration of the Chevrolet Camaro 1967 which had open round headlights plus headlights, the Model RS, Rally Sport, were hidden lights, which added aggressiveness to the body, and the headlights had a rectangular shape and hidden under the bumper. The same model had a special decoration of the sidewalls and the RS emblem on the fuel tank flap, the wings and the radiator grille. The model was equipped with different types of engines including six-cylinder L6, but on request the model could be equipped with a more powerful engine and a reinforced chassis. The car was produced until 1969. The approximate cost at the moment is $100,000. In February 1970, Chevrolet introduced a car that looked much more exotic than most American sports coupes. With its sleek lines and gorgeous front styling, the new Camaro was radically different from the 1969 model year's shoulder-length cars. The large side glass and the absence of a middle rack gave the profile of the model a smooth, streamlined shape. Thanks to the efforts of Bill Mitchell and his team of designers, the new car was more like a European Grand Turismo, considered the standard of beauty at the time. The new Camaro third tingling turned out just great. As it was already in 1970. Its appearance instantly made all other sports coupe America obsolete. The car's shapes were crisp and elegant, and the Z28 version wasn't as flashy in color. It retained the Camaro's signature features long nose, short stern and large side windows. In addition, the car was perfectly managed. After a comparative test, Car & Driver magazine named the Camaro Z28 the best in handling car in America and the Motor Trend magazine recognized it as a car of 1982, primarily for its excellent driving properties. From 1993 to 2002, the Camaro had four engine variants, 3.4L32 V6 162 horsepower, 1993 to 1995, 3.8L36 V6 200 horsepower, 1995 to 2002. 5.7 LT1 V8 with 279 horsepower, 1993 to 1997, and 5.7 aluminum LS1 with 305 horsepower, 1998 to 2002. Since 1993, the version with two lamps on a headlight was issued. Since 1997, began to let out the restyled version with integral headlights. On May 15, 2002. General Motors announced that it was suspending the production of the Chevrolet Camaro and Pontiac Firebird and closing the plant in Canada, where these machines were produced. This decision is based on the analysis of experts from Wall Street, who said that the big three too many plants in the United States and Canada. Rumors about the curtailment of production Chevrolet Camaro and Pontiac Firebird went for a long time, based on the continuous decline in demand for these cars. Chevrolet announced the 35th anniversary of the Camaro model, releasing a limited number of anniversary cars by 2002. It had a 345 horsepower V8 LS1 engine, rear spoiler, exhaust restriction system, and a six speed manual transmission. And 17 inch, black painted aluminum wheels with polished spokes, with tires Goodyear F1. Anniversary model has two body options with a convertible top and coupe. In 2009, the 2010 Camaro appeared. Two engine modifications, the Camaro LT V6 304 horsepower, Camaro SS V8 427 horsepower is capable of speeds up to 245 km per hour. This is the fifth generation of this machine. Finally, 
On Saturday, May 16, 2015, the first official show of the sixth-generation model took place in Detroit's Bell Eel Park. During the ceremony, an exhibition of the 25 best serial, conceptual and racing Camaro of previous generations from the GM storerooms and private collections was organized. In late October, the first Camaro began to go off the assembly line, and in mid-November they went on sale in the U.S. as Cars 2016 model year. In Russia, a new generation model was presented in the summer of 2016. The car is built on the new Alpha corporate platform, but the Camaro has more than 70% of the new parts, including a completely new interior, new front and rear suspension and power drive. It's slightly smaller and lighter but retains all of the recognizable features. Today I told you the story of the production of one of the most recognizable cars in America, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, peace to your home, peace to your soul and goodbye.